Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell, a three-year-old Clarendon boy, his nine-year-old sibling, and their parents were last night shot at their home in Havana Heights, Clarendon. The father, 43-year-old Mark Ricketts, otherwise called Chapa, has since succumbed to his injuries. Political Ombudsman Donna Parchment Brown has written to Kingston Central Member of Parliament Donovan Williams, saying he may have breached the tenets of the political code of conduct by painting out orange-colored curves in his constituency to green. MP Wagner's MP appointed. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has expressed confidence in Edward Gabadon as chairman of the Hart NSDA Trust, despite a litany of controversies plaguing the institution, including allegations of conflict of interest. But the opposition leader Mark Golding has cautioned the Prime Minister, who had earlier warned against persons weaponizing conflict of interests and connected parties in the public sector. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says Jamaica is set to have a strong winter tourist season with a steady flow of visitors. The season starts today and the ministry is projecting that 2021 will end with an excellent showing of 1.6 million visitors and more than 2 billion US dollars in earnings. In sports, Elaine Thompson Hero was conferred with an honorary doctorate of laws degree by the University of Technology today. The degree is one of many accolades for Thompson Hero this year, having won three Olympic gold medals at the Tokyo Games last summer. In your currency trading today, it was costing $154.80 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $207.62, and the Canadian dollar for $121.20. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be partly cloudy. It will be windy across northern parishes and hilly areas. In the afternoon, there will be showers and isolated thunderstorms across sections of central and western parishes. It will also be windy across northern parishes and hilly areas. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.